Hines are coming out first. It's world number 16. He's 34. He's right handed. He's had 10 World Cup medals, five zonal medals, including second in uh, Montreux and Torun. Six GP medals. And he's won Bern, the Bern Grand Prix, three times. Yannick Burrell, well, what kind of story is that? He's world number four, 33, right-hander. Three consecutive European Championship wins between 2016 and 2018. He was world champion in 2018 in Wuxi in China. This season, he won the Doha Grand Prix and the Cairo Grand Prix, and he just does never seem to slow down. Now, what's interesting is they've met nine times before in individual senior competition. Burrell has won 67% of the time to 33%, but the last time they met was in February of this year and it was Max Heinzer who won 15-14. And we've seen some crazy matches between these two in the past, in the World Championship, sometimes in team. But um, you are guaranteed a lively outing here. Burrell started the day in the pools by dropping three fights and ended up in 55th place and then just continued to he took out number 10 Vladimir Sankovic of Ukraine um, then Vismara and just carried on and on and on through the day and here he is on the podium based off Patrick Jorgensen who took out Siklosi We will see what these two greats have got for us. locomotive flesh attack and there's no stopping that aside from being a champion at the European world level He's got a day job. He's a customs officer. How would you like to come across Yannick Burrell with a suitcase full of contraband? I don't think it would be a good idea. on the blade there and then just cups up and underneath to get that hit. Again, Heinz are attacking the blade. Closing the distance really rapidly to be inside the point of Burrell's weapon. There is a considerable size difference between these two. But Heinzer's strength, if you've ever seen a video of some of his workouts, um, he puts in the work, that's for sure. Okay. 
Well, Yannick Burrell may have the locomotive flash, but Hunter's got the 100 meter dash flash. But one thing that Hunter does know is that he needs to build as much of a cushion as he can on the scoreboard. thought he had control of that. He did not. Burrell has awesome power. You just saw Hughes Aubry. He had Epe coach for France. He's been working in China over the past Olympic cycle. He's come back to France. He's a former Epe champion from France to lead the French effort into Paris 2024. there from Heinzer, but Burrell backed off. And then when Heinzer stepped into distance, bang. going to run out here in our opening period and we go out as we came in level five for Heinzer five for Burrell and I think we've got a pretty good match on our hands here Heinzer has got a, a very unconventional style for what you think of in terms of Epe and part of that has to do with the fact that he started life as a foil fencer. And he's brought some of that with him, especially with his love of flicks. But Heinzer has to be a little more creative here in dealing with Burrell because of the size difference. Burrell has awesome reach. But let's see what happens in the second period. Not to mention, Adrian Speakman of Great Britain is our referee for this second semifinal.
Collins, it looks like he's moving into sort of boxing mode here. And <coughs> Burrell says, yes, that's nice. Um, and just grabs a hit off the near target. Just underneath the guard. And Heinzer probably should not have done that, but um, he did anyway. Just flies right in, Burrell picks him off. Well, here's the thing, if Yannick Burrell settles in here, and starts building a lead. He's not going to let it go. All right, Heinzer gets one back there. Heinzer flying in. And again, it's, it's not like Yannick Burrell hasn't seen this before. pointing out something on the piece. We know there have been a couple of instances where the <coughs> air conditioning vents, we get some uh, condensation and it drips. like one of the floor managers and somebody with a mop are coming out. It's really hot. If, well, uh, everywhere in Europe is really hot, but it's really hot here in, when, and not unexpectedly, it's hot in Turkey in June. I see another one. Here we go. Max Hunter's got three points to pull back. Time is not an issue, but his approach to the fight at this point really is. having trouble getting inside Burrell's point. And he's working it every way he can, but this is gonna be a, a, real, a real issue. He tries to go over the guard. He tries to go under the guard. Let's see if we get a replay and see where he actually hit. On the bib. he had to put into getting that one point. I mean, these two have burned up more calories in this match than an entire gym full of people. And the clock is going to wind down here. And we go to our second one-minute break. 
but the work rate that Max Heinzer is having to put into pulling back now two points. He got one out of that at the end of the second period, but it took a lot of work to get it, and he's got to, um, I don't know, maybe find a more efficient means of doing it, but that's not really easy against that guy right there. That was an absolute beauty from Burrell taking the blade. Now, some instruction from Adrian Speakman, the referee, after speaking with After speaking with Heinzer, I think he's asking for Ah. He took a shot to his non weapon hand and um uh, he's bleeding. Asking to be taped up. Burrell waiting patiently. was very nicely executed. Coming in on a high line, dropping down for a hit to the foot. He picked up the blade, couldn't land. He tried for a flick, couldn't land that. A double here. create an opening. And Yannick Burrell just gets his arm out. got his blade all over the place trying to create opportunities and Yannick Burrell's blade is right where it needs to be. And a lot of that is sort of the French way of doing epee which is 
petite première, Yannick. Efficient control. I'm afraid it's slipping away here from Heinzer. He needs he needs to change something. And the problem is is that his options aren't many. option is to surrender your weapon and take up a new one. Perhaps find some inspiration. He's had a minute here to think about it while he changes the weapon. They're going to let's check the guard. got that by blocking out Burrell, but that's not going to happen very often. It was a nice move from Heinzer to jump in, block the blade out to the right, but that's it. Yannick Burrell into the gold medal match to meet Tristan Tulin. And Max Heinzer takes home. And they shake hands. Max Heinzer will join his teammate, Alexis Bayard, on the podium later to both collect bronze medals. And uh, gosh, I don't know what to make of what we're going to see in the final, but I do know that Tristan Tulin is definitely going to have his work cut out for him. And with that big smile of Yannick Burrell, what a great guy. We've got two semifinals coming up, a women's saber. So I'm going to hand off to Graham Bell, who's going to step in and guide you through that. And I'll see you back here for the gold medal match. <laughs> 